My research area is uh, complexity theory and I am particularly interested in the algebraic uh, flavored problems. Uh, so this, uh, this area is these days it's called algebraic complexity theory. It has a history of around 3-4 decades if not more. Although algebra obviously has a lo much longer history in the history of maths. Uh, so, without going too much into the details of what algebraic complexity theory means, I would just uh, point out about uh, uh, about how it is related to uh, the real modeling of real life problems. So, for example, one aspect of this theory is that, or one consequence can be, you can show which problems, practical problems, are difficult to solve. So, we call them hard problems. Uh, so when I say difficult to solve or hard, I mean solving a problem using computers, right? So using computational tools, which problems are hard, you can identify them. You can get some insight about their hardness, their innate hardness. So for example, uh, if you are into playing board games, uh, it can be shown that uh, mathematically it can be proven that uh, board games like uh, chess or Sudoku, etc. as they grow bigger, as the board grows, grows bigger, the problem becomes hard for computers to solve. Okay, so since you play it on a smaller board, it's easier to solve or you can attempt a solution, but as it gets bigger, it will at some point become intractable. Similarly, the other a very important problem, which is in the domain of optimization, right? So optimization problems, these also generally tend to be very hard for computers to solve. Okay, so like we can call them easy problems. So, uh, for example, uh, in algebraic complexity, we know that uh, certain polynomial systems, their roots can be for, can be found. Okay, so root finding problem or factorization problem in the polynomial ring, for example, is easy. Okay, so these algorithms are uh, a key algorithms in this area. And uh, using this and developing it further for practical applications, uh, it can be shown uh, or algorithms can be designed using which uh, the integrity of data on a hard disk for example or the integrity of a message being sent over a communication channel okay that can be maintained in other words errors when data is stored or errors when data is transmitted those errors can be corrected okay so this mainly happens because of tools from computational algebra and these become questions in algebraic complexity. So these are the positive aspects. Uh, and the third is which I am most interested in is that this area helps develop new kinds of uh, new kind of mathematics. Okay, so kind of mathematics which otherwise would remain inaccessible or unmotivated. Uh, those problems or those questions or those aspects of math actually get um, uh, motivated and people work on them and they develop new math. I will point uh, two important uh, aspects here of uh, uh, having a chair position myself and in general uh, establishing more chair positions for professors. So the first thing is that it uh, uh, recognizes and it hence it encourages uh, researchers to excel, professors to excel in their research work. Okay, so obviously without chair positions also professors uh, can excel and they continue do, to do their research work but always uh, recognition and encouragement uh, is, is, is helpful and in some cases in some kind of personalities it can encourage, encouragement can make a lot of difference and similarly recognition can make a lot of difference so that is a purpose which is being very uh, uh, importantly being served by the chair professor positions and the second is which uh, is uh, especially true for this end Ramarao chair is that it comes with uh, extra research funds which uh, I use to run my lab or to invite guests or to hire employees so this actually also helps in uh, uh, research funding so both this uh, both these aspects I think are important so this extra money to uh, uh, help in your lab at for to invite guests and other things and the first is of course recognition and encouragement. So for the chair position of uh, N. Ramarao, 
um, I would like to thank Mr. Narayan Murthy. Uh, he established this chair a uh, few decades back, I believe. The occupants of this chair have always been uh, exceptional in research uh, and, in it, and they have helped develop Indian academia. Moreover, I would want to thank Mr. Narayan Murthy for uh, his ever enthusiastic uh, support to uh, scientists and uh, science in India.